Hi everyone, this is the final video of a theories about the dashboard development. In this part, we are adding a knob control widget to manually control the room temperature. We'll create a chain of rules that will allow us to track and use the alarm widget to notify us of changes or violation of thresholds in the room. And we will also show you how to make the dashboard public. Let's get started. Adding a knob control widget and sending commands to device. Thingsboard can not only process and display incoming data from sensors, but also allows you to manage and control devices. For example, to control thermostats. Let's add a widget that we will use to control the room temperature manually. Go to thermostat dashboard state, add the widget knob control, you know how to do that. This control widget will visualize our current temperature. Choose your target device, select a thermostat. Within the advanced tab, change the maximum value to 60, add the title of your controller, click Add. Now let's try. Creating temperature alarm rules. In this step, we'll create a rule chain which defines the condition for alarms and if alarm is generated, sending this alarm to particular user. Go to the rule chains and add a new rule chain. Name it create and clear alarms and now let's edit it. I'm going to use the script node, call it under threshold and create a condition. If the inside temperature is below 20 Celsius degrees or above 30 Celsius degrees, the condition is met and the value true. This value will pass without alarm. If the value of temperature key violates this threshold, we will create an alarm. In order to create the alarm, we need to add the create alarm node. You can choose the alarm type, this will be the critical temperature, for example. Put the check mark to propagate this alarm. This option will propagate alarm to all related high-level assets, for example. Severity of alarm would be the critical. Click Add. To make the relation between the script node and the create alarm node, just pull from this spot and you'll see the arrow link and set the relation label to true. To clear alarm message, we will add a clear alarm node. The alarm type, the same as for the create alarm node, click add. Add the relation with the label false. So this time, after the alarm was generated, if the incoming message will contain the value that matches that meet our threshold, the alarm would be cleared. Now we need to go to root rule chain and all incoming telemetry to newly created rule chain. Adding alarm widget and triggering alarms. So, it's time to add an alarm widget that will display our alarms related to the temperature issue. First, you need to add new entity alias, the selected entity. Filter time would be the entity from a dashboard state, type asset, asset district A. Now create the alarm widget. Uh, 
alarm status would be active, alarm polling interval 1, alarm source entity, entity aliases, selected entity. We are not adding the device in the data source, but we are using the asset level. If you recall, we set the propagation of alarm to the parent asset. That's why the alarm will be also available within a district A. Within the advanced tab, we make add alarm table title, remove the check from display pagination, click add. Now let's copy our created widget and duplicate it to all other states for our assets. Go to building A, insert the widget, edit it, change the alias to select a building, go to temperature state and repeat the same procedure, paste widget and edit entity alias to select a thermostat. Now let's use temperature control widget to rise the temperature to 32 degrees. As you can see, there is a notification about the critical temperature. Now turn the knob and set the temperature to 23. The critical temperature notification has cleared. After lowering the temperature below 15 Celsius degrees, the notification appears again. As you can see, alarm widget works according to the specified parameters. And finally, we can make this dashboard public. The dashboard we've created can be public as well. This feature is very useful, but less secure. The end user will be able to enjoy it. This is done simply. In order to make the dashboard public, all entities that are used within this dashboard should be marked as public. First of all, go to Asset Groups and make Entity Group public. Do the same with the Device Group and Dashboard Group Guide. The group now has a public icon. Now, go to the Dashboard group and Dashboard group details, you will find there the public dashboard link. Copy this link and you may send it to the user or host somewhere on your web application. Or embed this dashboard in an iframe. Hopefully this video was useful for you, stay with us!